so the whole craze right now is all about Cyberpunk 2077. And as you know, it's been a complete disaster. Everyone's been pissed off on console. But hey, I've been playing it. It's not bad, I have to admit. It's pretty good on the PS5. But, as you know, Cyberpunk's been around for a long ass time. It's a type of genre. You know, I remember playing games like Shadowrun. I never played this until later, Run Saber. But hey, it's a damn cool game. As well as buying this. I bought this maybe not too long ago. Probably, ah, what am I talking about? I bought this a while ago, probably like 15 years ago. And it was super cheap at the time, and I knew I was gonna play it one of these days. So, I know I'm here for a very specific reason. And where the hell is it? Where's that damn game? I have to. Oh shit, I put it somewhere. And I don't even know where it is. Ah, there it is. Okay. So. I had to really dig deep into the dark depths of the dark night. As you know, back in the day, you know, you'd look through whereas sites and all that crap. If you want to get that full experience, and I know no one has even dared to cover this game. I've tried looking up on the internet. I tried everywhere, YouTube, I've tried all sorts of places. I mean, there's a couple of short videos of maybe the introduction of the game, but no one has ever dared to even step foot into the dark, deep realm of this game. And now, I'm gonna take a journey into the neural net with no dancer. Hey, I know, I know, I know I'm just, this is pathetic, I know, I, this is, this is terrible, I know. I mean, look at me, I'm dressed like a creep right now, and I'm doing, and I'm gonna review this stupid game right here, I mean, I gotta get views, this is what I gotta do to get views, scrape the bottom of the barrel of the internet? to try and get some kind of entertainment for you guys. But anyways, I, I know this is not what the game of Superhero is all about, so this is going to be a PG review for this, because it is an AO rated game, so got to make sure that everything's good, but let's do it. Let's go where no other gamer's gone before. We're going to take a journey into the neural net for the 3DO console that nobody gives a shit about but let's gonna we're gonna do it anyways let's do it let's have some fun all right so here it is neuro dancer so it starts off with an intro video and man they don't waste any time they just get straight to the point i'm not going to spoil anything here so you're going to have to just find out for yourself so there isn't any real actual start menu Instead, it just jumps you into the game immediately. Hi. So if you don't press anything, I'm I think the game goes into this little introduction mode. Hey, and you talk to man. one of the neuro dancers and your neuronet buddy, night, and they uh, explain oh, some stuff to you. Yeah. They mainly just talk about weird. hacking credits yeah, or something like that, and then whatever. We'll just anyway, get back to that later. So in your pod, you have a very limited choice of things you can actually do. So first, you just got the girls' bios, and uh, if you have enough credits, you can page them. But we'll get to that later, like I said. So there's Jennifer, the girl on the back of the box. Then there's Katara, the girl with the good song. I have to admit, it's, it's pretty catchy. And the poster girl, Kim. At least I think it's her. So here we go, after you check out the bios, let's check out some of the online service channels. Hey, it's me again, Wildborn. Uh, who the fuck are you? And look what I have got today. It's new. It's exciting. It's sexy. It's the Droid 2000. It's the Droid dealership. Come on, man. Reminds me of that yeah. RoboCop ad know. that they had for that car. Now, what's the price? Forty thousand dollars? No. Thirty thousand dollars? No. God damn! Listen you to this guy. No. Whoa. No. Of twenty-nine nine nine. Four. Tomorrow's weather will be the same as today's, which was the same as yesterday. Weather report? As Fucking see, horrible. Here, Listen to that empty room static. Will create absolutely no changes whatsoever. The temperatures tomorrow will be warm, oh but not so warm. Terrible. In the evenings it'll be cool. Just no effort so whatsoever. Feels like I'm in some the shitty lecture hall at low. school. So remember to put your moisturizer on your face. Hey, listen up, you weather watchers, because I don't have much time. The net police will be jamming my upload any minute. So here it is. Who the fuck is this my guy? Candy candy Man. From Excalibur, it's Neurodancer. Neurodancer. <laughs> Damn, this 
this? Is it supposed to be staff? I guess randomness is funny? Scissors and Stones Casino? What the fuck? My god, that saxophone is gonna put me to sleep. Just extreme boredom. I just want to turn it off so bad. Fuck, man. You just get that feeling of extreme boredom. Like, just so fucking bored and tired. You just want to... Oh, my god. Ready? Get that? Go! But, holy shit, you it's win. got this cool rock, paper, scissors game? Damn, I wanna play that! What? what the fuck is it even saying? Nonsensical jumping exercise robot? Like, what the fuck? Again, holy fuck, you feel the monotony. I'm just so bored, this is just shit. Alright, so you get messages as well, so let's uh, check out some of those. So punk, I see you finally answering your messages. Calling me a punk. You know, you're two months late on your rent, and I'm sick and tired of waiting. You've got two choices. Go and get me my money, or go out with my sister Dilda. Your landlord telling Dilda you to pay up. Money. Dilda or Man, money. this is cringe. This is just... Me? Fuck. <laughs> This is the net police from Sector 27. Neuronet police? What the fuck kind of police is this? Some bullshit Star Trek shit? Like, what? Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. By the way, have a nice day. A smiley face? Really? What the hell? Oh my god, this motherfucker. That weirdo giving you a pointless call. Is this supposed to be funny or something? So when you're done seeing all this crap, it's time to jump into your pod and get some phone credits. I can't wait to play some rock, paper, scissors. Alright, so here we go. We're in the pod. Now let's go get some phone credits. Holy shit, the load times. Why would they do this for the gameplay? FMV videos for movement? It's insanely boring and tedious movement. Okay, so you're supposed to go to these junction boxes and it's a little timing game where you press the button as soon as you hear the hacking device charge up just before it overcharges. Otherwise, it skips to the next little video, indicating that you fucked up, and you get busted by the police. So, the later the timing that you do before you get busted, the more credits you can extract. It's either in intervals of 400 or 600 from what I noticed. Or even 1100. Honestly, I, I don't even know. It just seems kind of random. So to sum it up on how it works, it seems like it's just a sound clip that's playing. And you have to turn it off before it stops. Otherwise, you lose. Okay, so once you gather up enough credits, it's time to head back to the hub. So now we can page those dancers. Rock, poop, and see this time. Okay, so here's the highlight of the game, right here. But I can't really cover much of it because it's going to spoil the game and because of censorship, can't really show that. 
Plus, that's not what the game of superheroes is about. I just need to cover something obscure that no one else has. So the more credits you have, the more dances you get. Each dance progressively gets the dancer with less clothing on. What do you expect? Eventually, you go into the TFUI mode as described on the back of the box. It's not what you expect, but what can you do? This is another surprise you'll have to find out yourself. Once you're done your page call with the dancer, she gives you a little thank you, and then you get to see your buddy talk to you like he's just so damn cool. Hey, I locked into your hologram program just now. Man, was she hot. Such a douchebag. Keep up the good work, man. Makes me laugh every time, though. I don't want to spoil the dances for you since this is basically the whole game. It definitely gives Cyberpunk a run for its money, especially in the mature ratings department. One thing I have to say is that 90s dark underground dance electronic music, it's awesome man, it's so sick. It brings that max cheesy factor at its best. It's exactly what you want for this type of game, top grade cheese. You can see they definitely had some good ideas here, just there isn't nearly enough content and it looked like it was seriously rushed. Some of it just seemed way out of place, but I guess that's the humor of it. They are obviously trying to accomplish some kind of humor with this, but a lot of it just felt flat, and just awkward, but I mean what do you expect? Come on, it's, just, it's fucking whatever the hell this is. Just look at the game. Alright, it's the moment we've been waiting for, at least what I've been waiting for. And that's it, it's time for some rock, paper, scissors. Wait, what the fuck? No rock, paper, scissors? And no new messages or advertisements or anything? That was the whole game? So 20 minutes of just a bunch of bullshit dances? That's all the gameplay here? The one only cool thing that could have made this game like somewhat decent and it's not even there? Maybe they plan for a sequel or something? It looked like a cool concept to me and it, they don't even have it? Ah oh my god. Okay, I, it's over. I'm done with this shit. Alright, so that was it. I took a journey into the Neuronet. I mean, I thought it was okay. A lot of cool ideas there, but they just never brought them through. I mean, let me take this weirdo crap off here. This is. Uh, take this off. I look like a freaking weirdo. But, anyways, they definitely had a lot to work on for sure. They had some cool things that they could have incorporated, but they never did. Kind of like that rock, paper, scissors game. There could have been so much more crap to this that they didn't even add in. Maybe they were, but just didn't have time or the funding or whatever. But I highly doubt we're ever going to see a second version. Never, obviously. But I have to admit, if you wanted to get that kind of deep, dark 90s feel, underground world type feel, cyberpunk type environment, then I have to, I admit, this it's not bad. It delivers somewhat. You only get like 20 minutes of an experience. But, ah well. Come back to it later down the road. Just enjoy it here and there. It's definitely that 3DO type vibe for sure. So if you want to get it, play it, it's going to run you a lot of money. Maybe you can get lucky finding it somewhere, but good luck. And this is it. Gaming Superhero brings another one for you. I'll be back very soon. Don't worry. I ain't going nowhere.